Bullets continue to pour in following the death of the former chair of the TJRC Commission, Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat. Ambassador Kiplagat died this morning at the Nairobi Hospital in Dangenheim, but now traces the life and times of the late Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat. Hi, Ambassador Bethel, the late Ambassador Kiplagat served in retired President Daniel Toroitich Arab Moy's government as a top diplomat for 13 straight years in key missions from 1978 to 1991 when he served as Kenya's ambassador to France, High Commissioner to Britain and Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Between 2003 and 2005, he was Kenya's special envoy to the then war on Somalia in its delicate peace process. In his condolence message, retired President Daniel Moy described Ambassador Kiplagat as a patriotic Kenyan who gave the best of his abilities to the service of his nation. He further says it is his humility and love for this country that enabled the late ambassador to rise to the highest levels of civil service and diplomacy. Deputy President William Ruto has termed the late Kiplagat as a leader whose measured approach to issues and dignified demeanor earned him respect at the negotiation table. NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga says the fallen diplomat was an exemplary Kenyan who served his country with passion and dedication as a diplomat, effective regional and national peace broker and the chair of the TGRC. The late Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat, a seasoned diplomat, had a long career in public service whose climax came when he served as a chairman for the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission, the TGRC, a commission whose tenure was dotted with controversy and whose report, despite being tabled in Parliament, is yet to be implemented. His appointment to chair the commission kicked off a storm from the word go as he came under attack over his alleged past human rights abuses, ostensibly for his role in the 1994 horrendous Wagala massacre in Wajir. Some of the commissioners appointed to serve with him in the commission resigned as a matter of principle after Kiplagat retained the chairman's position. Controversy did not end there. Even as the commission was submitting its report, the team was sharply divided with claims that names of powerful individuals had been left out of the final report, forcing those with dissenting views to decline to sign in support of the final report. A never-ending controversy that has followed the report hitherto, despite its handing over to the president and subsequent tabling in parliament, it's yet to be debated with the blame being directed to the 11th parliament. This report tulipokea na kibaki tukiwa sisi tunaandoka kwa serikali. Sasa nyinyi mmekaa kwa serikali kwa bunge miaka 4. Bado unasema watu wataweka kwa bunge ijadiliwe. What is now remaining is for the executive led by the attorney general as the chief legal advisor to create the committee, the standing committee that will oversee the implementation of the compensation programs for these Kenyans in one way or the other who are affected uh, under as per the report of the TJRC. Best person now to be asked why uh, he's not formulating the committee, and I'm sure he'll do it before even we go on recess, is the, the, the chief legal uh, advisor. The TJRC Act mandated the Commission to establish historical abuses on human rights between 12th December 1963 and February 28, 2008, which was the end of the 2007-2008 post-election violence when the National Accord was signed, bringing to an end the chaos of the then disputed presidential election results. At 81 years, Ambassador Kiplagat becomes the fourth prominent Kenyan to take a final bow in a period of two weeks after Senator Gigi Kariuki, CS Joseph Nkaiseri and former powerful minister Nicholas B. Watt. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.